Hey, it's Joe Glines from The Automator. And uh, someone on the, the uh, Facebook group, let me switch over here, so, uh, had asked about um, opening an Outlook 2010 message. Uh, oh, they want to get the text from it. And so um, there's there's actually a different post on this, which I don't know what happened to it because um, I had replied to it. But anyway, let's go. Uh, let's take a look at what I had started here. So Outlook is great. You can access it with Calm. You shouldn't be using the Windows Spy or anything else, right? Um, in my default here, this is just where I have my uh, single instance force and my hotkey to launch my script and to reload, right? Because it's just simpler. So uh, in here, I'm going to connect to Outlook and get the active current message let me see if i can find yeah here's a here's a refund i got for uh something from amazon so um in this case it's going to be html because i believe he had said it H, it's html email um and i'm going to connect to it let's start off here with just getting the sender name right so i'm going to run this hit my hotkey bam there's a sender name um and what i want to point out here is um these once you 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 can come and i'll, I'll put this in the description but you go to properties and here are the things that you can get once you have an outlook email selected right so there was a lot of different things here and some of them pull back and some of them don't um i'll do an example here of the body uh body format here in a second you can get the cc you know you can get uh things like this the html body is what we're going to end up grabbing um, for an html email the problem is it's all in html so I'll, I'll show you how to deal with that as well uh Boy, what else? There, there's so many things here. The recipients, so who was sent to. The subject is a good one. The RTF body, sometimes you might need that. Uh, but the uh, the sent on, so that's a date timestamp. Let's go back here. So anyway, here you get the idea. There are all these properties, right? So you're using it as an object. So let's uh, comment this one out. Look at the subject just so you can see it. Hey, your refund, blah, 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 right? So that's great. Uh, who was sent to. The sent on, let's do the sent on. So there's the date timestamp of when it was sent on, uh, the recipients. The uh, So now let's get into the body format. Now this is going to return a number. Two is HTML. I think, oh, I think there's a zero, one, two. Zero might be plain text. One might be RTF. It's been a while since I played with this. Here you'll see that's a two, and that's saying that one is an HTML. So you might want to first check to make sure the email you're actually working on is an HTML email, right? And then use logic if it's not. Uh, but here the body, let's show you, let's see what the body looks like. Um, this, you could work with it, right? And this will have the stuff in here that you want, but it's, uh, it again, you're seeing HTML in here, right? So that's the body. <clears throat> I think the RTF one, because this is a HTML email, is going to be blank. Yep. Um, and here is the HTML body. Now here's that HTML, you know, file, right, basically. So it's the HTML structure. And in here, you could search over it. But of course, we don't want to play with this, right? What would be great is to, and let's do this next one. So I'm going to comment this out. Now what we're going to do is we're going to store that HTML body into a variable called HTML. And then we're going to write, we're going to create a document um, creating an HTML file. And it's going to, um, then we have to write it. And then we're going to view the inner text. This gets you, <coughs> excuse me gets all text oops, from the DOM. Um, that's using the document object model, right? It's gonna give you all the text in that email. So I'm gonna rerun this and hit my hotkey and bam, there's just the plain text, right? Which is probably what you wanna search over. So uh, hopefully that helps. Um, again, the, uh, the object model is a great thing to be able to leverage and look at and you know, then you might want to loop over each line or search for text in there and do what you want with it, right? But this is how you'd get that started into a... Uh, um, here I would have saved this probably... Um, sa save it like this. And then now do a search. So now I can just do a message box on text, right? But um, do something with that text. Search for it, look what you're trying to find, uh, and do whatever. So. Uh, Outlook's an amazing, uh, the fact that Calm can connect to it, it's it's really powerful. Um, and this is just, the guy was very particular that he wanted to look at the current email. I, I gave him a link to look at um, while he's looping over him and, and all these things still would have been available. Uh, but he wanted the current one and all you have to do is search for um, getting current uh, email and you would, you would have found this active window with the current item, right? And that's so, the thing is you can't, 
it needs to have been it can't just be selected in your reading pane it has to be double clicked and opened if that makes sense so that's how that works cheers